and learn about it too. We're actually looking for the sneaker fish. The yeah, most... because they sneak around and take the bait really quietly. But perhaps sneakier than the sneaker fish. It's like da 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 da. It's the blue green algae steadily growing in Lake Okeechobee. And my lake is so awful. And threatening the summer fishing camp. If that water comes out of Lake Okeechobee, it's going to come right down this river here. Especially with a new item on the recently signed state budget that has Mark Perry concerned. We had asked if the governor could veto that. He chose not to. Perry and the Florida Ocean Graphic Society, one of 55 organizations and municipalities that asked DeSantis to strike from the budget $250,000 to study fertilizer runoff. Meaning for the next year, counties and cities are banned from changing or adding to laws that prevent algae fueling fertilizer from dumping into our water base. Which really hampers the the ability for local governments to, uh, you know, restrict fertilizer uh, inputs, especially during this wet period or wet season. Already up to 95% of Lake Okeechobee is covered with it. And with so much growth on the Treasure Coast, Perry says we need new fertilizer regulations to adapt or else. We're going to see more blooms. Yeah, Dr. Malcolm McFarland with FAU Harbor Branch says the study will help fight blue green algae in the long run. And one of the fundamental things that we really need to know is where is it coming from um, and how much is coming from these different possible sources. And we really need to know.